It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you and welcome to the Science Bowl. Well, this is it. We started the year with just 12 middle schools and now we're down to the final four. Yes, the first of two semifinal games against two teams that have distinguished themselves. And boy, are you in for a good game today. We welcome today two teams from Greenbelt and Kenmore. Let's meet them right now. From Greenbelt Middle School, would you please say hello to Nasaiba? Wave to everybody at Nasaiba. Good to have you back. Violet's with us too. She wanted to, they're anxious to wave there. Violet, nice to have you back. She's the captain. And Livia is here as well. Thank you, Livia. And playing against them is Kenmore. Kenmore, a nine-time champ here on Science Bowl in its 37-year history. Greenbelt is a one-time champ. They're hoping to add to that tally. Kenmore's team, Isabel is here. Hey, Isabel, they've already got their hands on that buzzer. They're ready to go. Hannah is here with us today, the team captain. And Stephen, nice to have you back as well. You know, if you're not familiar with the Science Bowl, we have categories of questions. There are six of them. Let's share those with you right now. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's Get Physical, questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's Science Potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions, everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on the Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with easy questions. They're on the left-hand side, the five and 10 point question. Tougher ones, 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And at the end of the two rounds today, one of these two teams will go on to the final to play for this year's county championship. So there's a lot at stake today. Let's make sure everything's working properly. Let's go to that red team. Violet, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you, Violet. Everything looks and sounds good. Congratulations on making it this far in the competition in Kenmore. Congratulations to you too. Hannah, try your buzzer. Green team looks A-OK -okay as well. Are you guys ready to play the bowl? I know you can play it, and I know you're ready and anxious, so let's do it. We go alphabetically G before K, so the red team and Violet, let's do it. Play the bowl. Let's get physical for 15 points. Physical for 15 points is a multiple choice question to start our game. These I initialed air purifiers that get rid of allergens and odors in the air are named for atoms with either a positive or a negative charge. Are those known? Hmm, green belt. Ions. Ions is right. Thank you, Livia. I was going to give you the choices of isotope, isomer, or ion, and ion it was. Nicely done. You draw first blood. Go red. Let's get physical for 20 points. Let's get physical for 20. A comic strip recently featured a kid asking his dad, Dad, how many millimeters are in one gallon? Dad answered, millimeters are a measure of distance, while a gallon is a measure of this. Kenmore. Volume. It is volume. Well done. Go, Hannah. Green. Um, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. It is thought that the megalodon, the largest shark that ever lived, was a super apex predator capable of swallowing one of these, today's super apex. Green belt. Orca. An orca? Say it again. And a killer, killer whale. What did you say? Killer whale. Killer whale, absolutely right. The orca is the super apex predator of today. Nicely done, good, go. Um, let's get physical for 25. Physical for 25, big one in that category. While fire here on Earth requires oxygen, on the sun, which lacks oxygen, the intense heat and flames are produced by hydrogen atoms smashing into each other in a process known as nuclear green belt. Nuclear fusion. Nuclear fusion it is, absolutely right. 25 more points, go red. Um, 
Science Potpourri for 25. Potpourri for 25. There is a, is a picture, a visual question. Have a look at the monitor in the studio, please, if you would. This gathering of thousands of monarch butterflies, a dazzling mix of orange and black and white and green, is named after one of these K initial devices that looks like a telescope. But it's, yeah, green belt. A kaleidoscope? Yeah, they call it a kaleidoscope of monarchs. Perfectly chosen name. Good. 135 green belt, 70 for Kenmore. Early in the game, advantage red. Uh, science potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15. Four-part answer. In 1930, the Nobel Prize in Medicine went to Carl Landsteiner for his discovery of the four types of human blood. Yes, Kenmore. Uh, pass to Isabel. Isabel. A, A, B, B, and O. You got them all. Absolutely right. A, B, A, B, and O. Good. Advantage green. Um, body systems for 25. Body, body system for? 25. 25. Big one in that category. Uh, teams, since ALS, a neuromuscular disease that afflicted physicist Stephen J. Hawking, because it destroys nerve cells, eventually it means that the body cannot move these V initialed. And more. The cells, V initial cells. Wait, did you say cells? Yes, ma'am. What, what's your answer, please? Veins. Let's go to veins. Green. Say it. Veins. Not veins, no. Green belt, uh, ALS, neuromuscular disease that afflicted Stephen Hawking. Because it deserves, destroys nerve cells, it means that eventually the body cannot move these V initial kinds of muscles. Voluntary? Voluntary muscles, absolutely right, yes. The involuntary muscles that move food and all are not affected, uh, hence life can continue. Nicely done. Go red. Body systems for 20? Body systems, 20 points. Teams, since your baby teeth fall out, they have what same name as trees that lose their? Deciduous. Green belt. Deciduous. Those are your deciduous teeth, yes. Just like the leaves that fall off in the, in the, in the autumn, those are deciduous trees. Good. Go. Red. Uh, Dateline science for 15. Dateline 15. The new rocket that NASA recently rolled out, which will carry the next Americans to the moon, is named Artemis. The mythological sister of this god, Kenmore. Apollo. Apollo, yes. The original Apollo program that sent the men to the moon in 1969. Good. 180 to 100. Go green. Um, dateline signs for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Listen carefully. Your answer will be an adjective and not a specific noun or specific disease. Listen carefully. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the president's science advisor and our guide, guide throughout the pandemic, is about to retire as the head of the Office of Allergies and these kinds of diseases caused by viruses and bacteria that can be, yes, Kenmore. Viral. Not viral, no. Let me finish it for Greenbelt. I will finish this. It'll be the last question in the first round. Dr. Anthony Fauci, the president's science advisor and our guide throughout the pandemic, is about to retire as the head of the Office of Allergies and these kinds of diseases caused by viruses or bacteria that can be contagious but aren't always. What you got? Um, hang on, we're still doing this. Uh, infectious, okay. infectious diseases is what we were looking for there. Still, good try, good first run. Green belts at 180, Kenmore at 100. Great game, first of our two middle school semifinals. We'll be back in just a moment. Don't you go away. So glad to have you here today on Science Bowl, and I hope you've seen these young people play previously because, boy, they don't miss many questions. They have prepared themselves so well. They are the best of the best, and uh, one of them is going to be moving on to the championship game. Anybody's bet at this point. Let's go over and find out a little bit about our players. If you didn't get to hear about them on a previous program, let's go to Greenbelt first. And Violet, tell us all about Greenbelt Middle School. Uh, principal, coach, alternates. Go ahead. Um, uh, our principal is Dr. Marcellus, Mr. Marcellus Clement. Our coaches are Dr. Pitt Pitt and Miss um, Paginson. 
and, and alternates. She had two alternates, didn't she? Yes, we have Cassier and Robert. Yes, and uh, they'll both be out. Cassier was here before, and Robert is new. He's a sixth grader. We're going to see him uh, in just a few moments. Tell us what you like about Greenbelt Middle School. It's a relatively new school. Um, but it's got a lot going on over there. What do you like about it? Um, I like all the programs they offer, like the chorus, the music programs, and the creative arts, as well as the after-school programs like Chess Club, the Chew Team, and Science Bowl. Yeah, well, thank you for the plug on that. We enjoy having you here, Violet. And uh, tell me a little bit about Violet. I know you're a runner, and you and your dad and your family are into running, and you'd like to go to Roosevelt High School and someday maybe go into space yourself, yeah? Where would you like to go if you had your choice? Um, well, I would like to go to space because I think it's cool. And that's just what Elon Musk said. Cool. Yeah, he said it's cool. It is definitely cool. Well, uh, we wish you a lot of luck in that. And uh, we'll be going to Mars at some point. And I don't know, I would want it not to be a one way trip. So I'd hold out for that. Let's find out about your teammates. And Saiba, nice to have you with us here today. Uh, you play the viola. Yeah, I also play a little bit of like the piano, but I'm better at the viola. Yeah, uh, so there's an orchestra at Greenbelt? Yeah. You play? That's wonderful. They're lucky to have you. And you're into coding? You code Java? Yeah? Yeah, I recently got into like computer science because I think it's really cool how even though you're not actually going to be doing math, you still have to like take all these hard classes to get into that mindset. Well, yeah. uh, uh, I'm sure that that is... Uh, that, that is cutting edge right now, and everyone should be uh, able to do that. You're into embroidery and drawing, and you'd like to be an engineer, software engineer someday, yeah. perhaps? Yeah, good to have you on the show. Livia, nice to have you here. Livia, you seem to be weighing in on every one of these science questions that we have here today. How do you know so much science? Um, I like to read a lot. There's this series I like reading called Corpse Talk, and they go over a lot of historical people, which yeah. I think is helpful. Well, you've got, you've got a great retention and you're able to pull things up. Uh, no matter what clues I come up with, you seem to be able to zero in on what we want. You want to get a degree in physics or physiology someday? Yeah? Uh, physics or psychology, yeah. Psycho okay. I know they're pretty psychology, different. Psychology, that, that makes sense too. And you, uh, like to, you like to play games and you're a reader and you play the guitar. Yeah. Yeah, so a guitarist and we have a violist here. Uh, Violet, do you play an instrument? I play the flute and the piano. Very nice. Okay, we've got musical abilities over there. Your academicians and your uh, athletes, all of you, tremendous. Let's talk to your teammates, your competitors over there at Kenmore. And Hannah, tell us all about the green team over there. Tell us the Kenmore story. All the famous VIPs other than you guys. Um, well, our um, principal is Miss Rebecca Turner. Our, um, our um, coach is Miss Novick. And we have three alternates, Faith, Winter, and Elizabeth. So you have a shadow team. Do you play each other? Do you play the shadow team and back and forth? Yeah. That's a good we'll way to practice. practice. Yeah, for mm -hmm. the game, for the show here. All right, let's find out a little bit about each of you. Let's see. Uh, tell me about uh, Kenmore. Kenmore has a, a great reputation, as does Greenbelt. Tell us some of the activities of it and what you like about the school. Um, I like Kenmore because of the diversity, not only in people, but also in options. Um, if, you're, if you have like musical ability, we have a concert choir, um, orchestra, um, and band, um, and I'm in the ukulele club, so that's, that's a little cool activity The ukulele too. club? Yeah. I love, tell me more about that. Uh, that's fun. It's run by the music and chorus teacher, Miss Santiago. On a ukulele. Oh, I fact, you should see you play in that. Yeah, what do you want to do someday, Hannah? Um, I want to be a psychologist, and I also want to kind of study law because uh, law is very interesting, um, and I think justice is important. And also psychology is um, very important, um, studying the mind. And then also um, in this day and age, mental health is becoming more of an important aspect of Isn't our that lives. the truth, yes. Uh, and law and psychology go together. And a lot of people in society need advocates. And if you're out there because they have nowhere to turn, you're going to be a good one. Uh, a good lawyer there, Hannah. Thank you. Isabel, nice to have you back with us. Uh, tell us the Isabel story. Uh, you want to get a doctorate? You want to be a doctor someday? Uh, OBGYN, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just, I love science and I love helping others. I'm in NJHS and SGA. And uh, I just, the idea of being a doctor and bringing those two passions together is really cool. You know, the, the noblest ambition in life is to do something for other people. And you try to, not just in the future, every day, every day if you can do something. And you, you, you have a, a great outlook on life already. You like to watch movies. You like to read books. Seen a movie lately that you really like? 
Um, I like I had this project and it was about like uh, the minds of serial like it was like kind of psychology related about mm -hmm. like the minds of serial killers. So I watched um, the my friend Dahmer that movie um, to like as a source or a resource for it. Yeah. Well, that, I'll have to keep that in mind, you know, and, and keep my eye out for that. Thank you for sharing that. Stephen, nice to have you back on the show, too. I'm still impressed that you knew what an Erlenmeyer flask was and you know an awful lot about science. I know you've been on the Science Bowl before. We love having you back here, and you were in Kids for Science when you were in elementary school. What is it about science that gets your juices flowing? Um, I just think it's interesting, like, looking at stuff and learning more, I guess. Um, and, and someday you want to get into engineering, maybe? Yeah. Software engineering, software, and you're into like, math as well? Yeah. Yeah? I like that sort of stuff, like the logic behind it. Yeah. Like, the types of physics I like are more math-related. Like, I think the data stuff and the physics stuff is more interesting than other types of science, I'd say. You said an important word there, logic. You know, if we think logically, we can do a lot of things. Just kind of take your time and uh, kind of analyze it, uh, re uh, reverse engineer it and see how it works. All right, our game is a close one. It's 180 for Greenbelt, 100 for Kenmore. Lots of points to give away. Most of the high value points are gone. You guys have done that on purpose. We have a lot of somewhat easier questions up there, but let's continue. And we go back to the red team, because the last correct answer was from Violet. So, Violet, let's start round two. Uh, Dateline Science for 20. Dateline Science for? 20. 20 points. All right. Here's your question. A rare but terrifying hazard to worry about in the summer is swimming in a lake that might contain these A, initial micro, Ken Moore. Amoebas? Amoeba, yes. Those brain-eating eating amoeba. Yeah. Horrible thing to think about. Okay, 120. Kenmore, go. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Because they grow close to the ground, leafy greens like spinach and romaine lettuce often pick up bacteria from the soil and animal droppings and irrigation water. Included among the bacteria that they pick up are E. coli, listeria, and this one that often results in the recall of leafy greens at the supermarket. Ten more. Um, salmonella. Ammonia? What you got? Salmonella. Salmonella. Yeah. salmonella. It is salmonella for 25 points. Yeah, uh, You can exhale. Yeah, you got that one. Good teamwork over there. Good. Go. Green. Uh, zoo parade for 25. Zoo parade for 25. Big one in that category. Teams, let's look at the picture. You are about to see a whale shark, the largest fish on earth. It eats some algae phytoplankton, but it's been recently found that it also adds to its diet zooplankton, meaning it's not only the world's largest fish. Kenmore? Omnivore. Omnivore. Yeah. omnivore. It's the world's largest omnivore as well, indeed. Good. Go. Uh, green things for 20. Green things, 20 points. More picture. Another picture. Look at the monitor, please. This beautiful bonsai tree. Okay, uh, for 20 points, careful pruning of one of these very small trees known as a bonsai takes place if you pluck, pinch, thin, trim, or take the leaves off the tree. What word describes taking the leaves off of a tree on a bonsai or any other kind of tree? Kenmore. He already said pruning, right? Um, can you repeat the question? Pruning a bonsai is what keeps it small. Some of the things that you do when you prune a bonsai is you pluck things, you pinch things like the roots and the stems, you can thin it, you can trim it, or you can take all the leaves off of it. That process of taking the leaves off the tree is known as this. Picking. Picking? Yes. Share? Sorry. Shed? Picking. picking, I think picking. Okay. Picking, picking, like pick. Not pick. Uh, Greenbelt, do you have an idea? Do the process know? of removing leaves from a tree. Shutting up, but you're moving manually, so it is. What you got, girls? It's 
called defoliating, defoliation of a tree. No points. Let's go again back to the red team. You still have a 10-point advantage. Is that correct, judges? Is it the red team that's going next? It is green. Got to do the light. Thank you. All right. Sorry about that. Hannah, I will turn that light out over there for the green team. And then, uh, Hannah, you get to pick the next question. Go. Zoo prayed for 20. Zoo prayed for 20 points. The tiny aquatic water fleas with just one eye known as cyclops are actually a freshwater variety of this group of animals that includes crabs and lobsters. Ten more. Crustaceans. Crustaceans. It is crustaceans. Yes, it is. Good. Green. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems, 15 points. This is very exciting. A promising new medical technique shows that the blood type of a donor kidney can be changed to this type known as the universal donor. Ken Moore? O negative. O negative. We will take type O. Absolutely right. That's all we need. We didn't need the negative or positive. Type O is correct. Good. Go. Green. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Even though bamboo is a kind of grass, it is not a herbaceous plant, but rather one made of this hard substance. Woody. Green belt. Wait, it is a woody plant. May it I? is a woody plant. Absolutely right. Good. That's what I needed to hear. Go red. Um, Zuprade for 15. Zuprade, 15 points. What hard-working insects are reminiscent of the mythical Sisyphus, who was forever condemned to push a boulder up a hill? Ants. Green belt. Ants? Not ants, no. Kenmore. Hard-working insect. Which one is it? Reminiscent of the mythical Sisyphus, who was forever condemned to push a boulder up a hill, since they push balls of excrement along the ground. Dung beetles? Dung beetles, yes, indeed. I like how they depict them in The Lion King. All right, good, good. Come back, go green. Uh, size potpourri for 10. Potpourri for 10 points. Pandas are not primates, but they do have an elongated wrist bone that acts just like this digit. Green belt. Thumb? A thumb, absolutely right. Found only on primates. Thank you, Olivia, for your help there. Takes you up to 205, 220 for Kenmore. Advantage red. Let's get physical for 10 points. I'm sorry? Let's get physical Let's for get 10 Let's get physical points. for 10. When a row of dominoes falls, how fast the dominoes topple depends on this force. Ken Moore. Gravity. Gravity. Yeah. What you got? Gravity. Not gravity. When a row of dominoes falls, how fast the row topples depends on this force. Green belt. Is it acceleration? Um, I don't think so. Do you think it's, it's... What you got, girls? Correct answer is friction. Friction is the right answer there. Uh, next, we can go back to the green team. Is that correct? Go, Hannah. Um, body systems for 10. 10 points in body systems. When you're asked a question, and you don't speak up. The expression is, the cat's got your what? Ken Moore? Tongue. The tongue. Cat's got your tongue. Yeah, doesn't have your tongue. You answer. Good. Go. Um, green things for 10. Green things 10. The Scoville scale, S-C-O-V-I-L-L-E, -L -L -E, measures how hot these green things are. Ken Moore? Pepper. Peppers. Peppers, yes. They ripen. They turn red, orange, and don't eat the yellow ones. Take my advice. Good. Green. Go. Um, dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10. Multiple choice. The man responsible for the smallpox vaccine, a version of which he tried on a 13... Edward Jenner. Yes, Greenbelt. Edward Jenner? You got it right. Absolutely right. Thank you, Olivia. Edward Jenner with his smallpox, his cowpox uh, experiment. 215, 240, go red. Dateline science for five. Dateline five points. Can you believe it? Scientists now think that spiders experience REM, rapid eye movement sleep, just as we do. A sign that spiders might be doing this. Green belt. Dreaming. Dreaming. Probably nightmares. I hope nightmares. Good. Go red. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. If someone gives you advice that's kind of mm, questionable, it's said that you should take that advice with a grain. Ken Moore. A grain of salt. A grain of salt. Absolutely right. The conduct with the formula NACL. Go green. 
Um, Zoo prayed for 10. Zoo prayed 10 points. Let's try a little onomatopoeia from your English class. Cats meow, geese honk, frogs ribbit, and these talkative birds squawk. Ten more. Oh, a parakeet. No, parrots. 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 Parrots is right. Yes, indeed. For five points. Good. For ten sense. points, rather. Go. Um, let's get physical for five. Physical for five points. Since ocean water is dark and thus absorbs heat, it is leading to the melting of more and more sea ice. Unlike the water, sea ice does what to the incoming rays? Greenbelt. Absorbs. Absorbs? Not absorbs, doesn't absorb. Kenmore, the dark seawater absorbs heat, which leads to the melting of more and more sea ice. Unlike the water, sea ice does what to the incoming rays of the sun? Reflects. Reflects? It reflects it back out, just like any white surface would. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. We have three questions left. Kenmore, you choose. Um, green things for five. Green things for five points. Thomas Edison once said that until man duplicates a blade of this green plant, Greenbelt. Grass. Grass, yeah. Violet. Body systems for five. Body system, five points. When Jack of Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water, he fell down and broke his crown, which is another name for the top part. Of your head. Of your head. What do we call that bone? Skull. Skull is right. Last question of the game. Zoo prayed for five points. One of the lyrics from singer Katy Perry's Roar is louder, louder than a what? Yes, Hannah. Lion. A lion, the king of beasts. And that is the end of our game. It looks like Kenmore has done it. We'll double check that score and be back with you in just a moment. Well, we hope you enjoyed this game at home as much as we did here in the studio. We anticipated a match of champions, and that's what we got. Our score today, 230 for Greenbelt. 265 for Kenmore. Kenmore, congratulations. You are a finalist in this year's championship game. And Isabel and Hannah and Stephen, you couldn't have done any better here today. Would you be kind enough, Hannah, to tell us who's with you? You're all wearing green. You are the green team. Um, well, here we have our um, amazing um, coach, Miss Novick. Um, and behind us, we have our three alternates, Faith, Lizzie, or Elizabeth, and Winter. Wonderful. Let's have a round of applause for that Kenmore team. Terrific job. And Violet, would you do the honors for the Greenbelt team? Um, we have our coaches, Dr. Pitpit and Ms. Pavinson. We have our two alternates, Robert and Cassie. And we have our assistant principal, Ms. Sims. Wonderful. Thank you all for being here today and for a wonderful season. You came this close, and uh, there's a lot of pride in Greenbelt after what you've done here today. A round of applause for that Greenbelt team. That's just wonderful. And give yourselves a round of applause, too, because you're sitting out there, and I hope you played along. I hope you enjoyed the show, and I hope you learned a little something, not only from my questions, but from the wonderful answers you just heard from these elite science students here. We hope to see you next time for the second semifinal game, and don't miss the championship game. Ken Moore is going to be there. Until then, I'm Dave Zarin. Thanks for watching, everybody.